I'm Director of Software Engineering for CA Technologies here in Prague, the Czech Republic. Uh, I've been at CA now for about seven and a half years. I'm originally from the United States, from the state of Indiana, but I've lived in Europe now for more than 30 years. Uh, one future job that I can imagine would be an information curator, if you will, uh, as opposed to a current technical writer, more someone who collects information from customers and communities and puts together that information and makes it available to everyone who may or may not use the product. Um, I think uh, to prepare someone for such a career, a primary focus would be uh, communication and, and possibly even uh, uh, marketing uh, with maybe some uh, computer science as well. Recently, I read an article on LinkedIn about some jobs that might go away in the IT industry. Uh, one of them was my current job, which uh, is middle management. And uh, the person who wrote the article suggested that my job might be replaced at some point by a robot, uh, someone who might be able to do the things that I do. But they were also speaking more about, I think, filling in spreadsheets and, and such things. Now, as a manager, one thing that I really try to do is empower my employees. Now, having said that, I think that the more employees are empowered, the less um, the manager has to do in his current role, meaning the employees make more decisions that affect them, for example, with uh, less manager input. So I think the manager's role is changing as well. Whether or not we'll be replaced by robots remains to be seen. But uh, uh, that's one thing that could disappear, maybe certain levels of management in the future. Another job that could possibly disappear in the future is a localization engineer, a person responsible for translating documentation, guides, and such into various languages. And the reason this job might disappear in the future is uh, is owing to the success of Google Translation and other applications like that. Uh, as you know, today you can right-click almost on any article on the Internet and get an instant translation, albeit the translation isn't perfect. So there may be a human component required going forward, but I think what we'll see is fewer localization positions uh, in the future for software, hardware, all STEM-related fields. I think the best thing a teacher could do to prepare someone for a job that may or may not be around in 10 years from now might be to help that student focus on not just the job itself, but the area in which the job is located. For example, uh, we talked about the possibility of localization engineers uh, not existing at the same level as today in the future. So a person who has skills that might be optimal for that position could possibly work in a technical writing role or something that's related to that. An editor, for example, technical editor could be another job. So I think it's important for the teacher to focus not on one single job, but on a family of jobs. That's the best way you can prepare the student uh, for any type of job that may not exist when that student graduates.